Is like Thanksgiving for everyone here the same? Like the turkey, the roasted root vegetables. Green bean casserole? Green bean casserole. Like soft green beans? With like yeah. crispy onions. Yeah, with onions on top. <laughs> with what on top? <laughs> and fun onions? Fun onions. <laughs> what are fun onions? That is the weirdest thing I've ever heard about. Hi, my name is Sandy Ho and I'm a travelling chef and I work a lot on boats. Today I'm going to be making mashed potatoes three ways. The first is crispy potato and rosemary mash. The second is a chickpea mash with roasted garlic. And the third is a sweet potato mash with English walnut. If you can make these on a boat, you can definitely make them in any kitchen or space that you have. In the crispy mash, it's basically about a pound and a half of fingerling potatoes, um, half a cup of diced butter, some sprigs of rosemary, half a cup of double cream and three tablespoons of full fat milk. So I've got a pot of boiling water here. To that I'm going to add um, a good handful of salt. I'm also going to add the cream, maybe two sprigs of rosemary. Um, so when I add the cream in, it'll just add a creamier texture to the potatoes as they're cooking and it'll infuse. Um, and same with the rosemary. And then now you can add your potato. And you want to cook these just until they're really soft. We want to keep the skin on to keep it really crispy in the oven. So I've just checked these potatoes and they're nice and soft. So I'm going to drain them and get them on a tray ready to roast. The softer the potato, the, the better, because then later on, after it's roasted, um, it'll be really soft to mash. So you want to just mash these a little bit on the tray, just to break the skin. You could use a fork as well, if you didn't have a mashing tool at home. So now you just want to add the butter on top of this and some rosemary. And you want to get that into, in and on all of the crevices so that the butter really soaks into the opened potato. And you also want to make sure that you season these really well. I've just got a good pinch of salt over and some pepper. Like the potatoes are basically acting as a vessel for all the butter that you want to eat. <laughs> so this goes into the oven at 400 for about 40 minutes or until they're golden. What you're looking for is super crispy bottoms like this. And then once that gets mashed through, you'll get a lot of that crispy texture through the mash as well, along with the skin. You can actually eat these potatoes as they are. They would be really delicious. But since we're making mash, I'll add some milk. Just a little bit, not too much, just to loosen it up. And then just get mashing. So this is a more rustic style mash with the skin on and you don't want to mash it too much because you still want that texture through it so I think we're about done so that's your rustic crispy roasted potato mash it's super buttery which is delicious and the texture is amazing because there's crispy chewy skin bits in there, so if you love potato wedges, this is your mashed potato dish. So for the roasted chickpea and garlic mash, um, we've got a tin of drained and organic chickpeas, half a cup of butter, some tahini, three tablespoons of full fat milk, and also a whole bulb of garlic that's been roasted at 400 for 40 minutes. To garnish, there's chickpeas roasted for about 20 minutes on 400. Some smoked paprika, oregano, and a squeeze of lemon. And the inspiration from this dish was um, from a recent 
journey to Philadelphia and I went to Zahav and really, really enjoyed their um, Turkish hummus, which was made with chickpeas and butter. So we wanted to incorporate that into the mash idea. So the Yukon Golds were peeled and quartered and then I've just boiled them and strained them and I'll just leave them aside to dry off for a second and then we'll move on to the chickpeas and roasted garlic. So if you don't have an immersion blender at home, you can definitely use a food processor or you could do it by hand and um, just run it through a sieve. I'm adding the chickpeas, butter, tahini and milk to the bowl and then I'm also going to separate and squeeze out the garlic that's been roasting. I like doing garlic this way just because it adds a really delicious, sticky, sort of caramelised flavour to the dish rather than using raw garlic which can be quite spicy. The consistency I'm looking for is very similar to the consistency of hummus, so creamy, everything's blended, um, you don't want any chunks in there. I think this is done. I'm going to add the potatoes to that mix and then start mashing. I'm going to add some salt to this as well. Okay, so this is basically done, it's completely mashed together, it's super creamy. There are still some sort of some chunks of potato in there, but I think it'll work nicely with the amount of chickpeas through it. Into the roasted chickpeas, I'm gonna add a little bit of smoky paprika and oregano and a squeeze of lemon. I added just a touch of olive oil um, to coat the chickpeas because you want that really nice glossy finish on the garnish. And then this just goes on top. This is the roasted chickpea garlic and potato mash. I think the chickpea flavor is really good through it. It's just a little bit different and you can't tell that it's really there. The potato really changes it. It tastes a little bit like hummus, but without the chickpeas on top, it'll just be a different flavour that you wouldn't really notice, I don't think. Sometimes sweet potato can be a little bit too sweet, so I like to add a little bit of um, just normal potato in there just to have that creamy mash texture. I have half a pound of Yukon gold potatoes and a pound and a half of sweet potato that I'm just going to peel and quarter. And I'm just going to leave that aside to dry off. I've got a cup of milk, 50 ml of double cream, a cup of walnuts, a quarter cup of diced softened butter and some salt, pepper, one whole onion that's going to be sliced and caramelised. So while that onions are sautéing, I'm going to add um, a cup of milk and the cream in a small saucepan with the walnuts, just to create a walnut sauce. I've just got it on a high heat to start off, just to like get the milk and cream heated up. And then once that starts slightly simmering, I'll turn it down to medium-low heat. So I'm going to also add a little bit of salt to the walnut sauce. You're just looking for a slightly softened sort of walnut, so it's not as crunchy. But you still want a little bit of the texture there because you want it to run through the, um, the potatoes. Alright, I think this is ready. So I'm just going to grab a bowl and the immersion blender and make sure you season it. If you don't have an immersion blender at home, you can definitely use a food processor, a blender, or you could even chop it up really finely with a sharp knife and then mix it through. It'll just make for a sort of more textured, crumbly um, sweet potato mash, but it's still all good. All the flavours are still there. Um, so I'm going to whiz this up. Ooh. Uh, 
So maybe you'd be best to use to do this in a cup or sort of a more cylindrical shaped vessel. Otherwise it gets really messy. Like now. So this is the kind of texture that you're after. It's creamy, it's sort of like like an oat kind of texture. Um, and then what we'll do now is we'll add the potatoes to this mix. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt and um, the softened butter. I'm using unsalted butter because I've added quite a bit of salt throughout the process. And then you mash everything together. Into this as well, like especially during the holiday season, you can add spices like cinnamon or nutmeg. I think you'd want it to be a little bit chunky still. I'm gonna add a touch more cream um, to add a little bit more creaminess to it, but it could be chunky. You can garnish with some extra walnuts for crunch, save some caramelized onions as well just to add a little bit of colour back into it and yeah, I think we're done. I'm going to garnish it with a little, little bit of caramelised onion and some chopped up walnuts for a bit of crunch on top. Mmm, that's good. And I think the caramelised onion adds a different kind of sweetness to the potato as well, which is really nice. I feel like I've been on a mashed potato marathon. <laughs> yeah, I think all these recipes are really great for holiday meals um, and would make a great side. Breakfast next morning on a hangover, maybe. <laughs>